What's your favorite food? Spaghetti. Chicken. Chicken. What else? Rice. Jollibee. Chicken and fries. Jake, let's hit the gym. See what's the ball? Apa yang mana? Makdo nalan tak? Nah, makdo. Yesterday you told us nama gubal kita mau jogging nih. Pavilion nama ni job. Itu dia kan nalan taruh naik. Itu dia kan sih nak kawin. Nampak mal? Tahu kan tak? Terus? Okay. Mana yang pengen? Obesity is an abnormal or excessive fat accumulation that presents a risk to health. It is a medical concern influenced by various factors such as environment, genetics, health conditions, medications, and an individual's lifestyle. Body mass index or BMI is used to indicate nutritional status in adults. When a person reaches the BMI of 30, he, she is already considered obese. For children, the World Health Organization uses the tool Child Growth Standards or CGS, developed using data collected in the WHO Multicenter Growth Reference Study. According to the most recent National Nutrition Survey, in the Philippines, the incidence of obesity has climbed from 20.2% in 1998 to 37.2% in 2018. This indicates that 3 out of 10 adult Filipinos are overweight or obese. Also, it is more prevalent in females, 33.5%, than males, 26.3%. There are a lot of factors contributing to obesity. First is genetics. According to recent studies, there is a strong likelihood that Asian people are more likely to become obese due to distinct genetic features that predispose them to eating more and becoming centrally obese. Second is having a poor diet. The world has moved from producing simple food to a market promoting unhealthy, processed foods that are more convenient to consumers. Lastly, an inactive lifestyle. Sedentary lifestyles have also affected worldwide population trends. With the development of technology, internet and online game use leading to an even more increased screen time, outdoor activities are now less common in younger age groups. Nearly every organ system in the body is impacted by obesity. It can cause new illnesses or worsen ones that already exist. Obesity is linked to a higher chance of developing type 2 diabetes, cancer, asthma, hypercholesterolemia, cardiovascular, and neurodegenerative diseases. If we really talk about treatment for overweight and obesity, we really have to look at obesity as actually a disease. If we really want to treat it, we first of all want to prevent it. So. Um, treatment of overweight and obesity is very complicated and as a nutritionist for most part we only look at the nutrient uh, the energy balance like energy in energy out physical activity versus how much calories you eat that but that's from a nutrition point of view however um, if we talk to doctors if we talk to other people there are a lot of other treatments that they could um, cite there is a trend right now of um, early taken medicines but for us here in public health especially 
it's more on prevention. We really need to have uh, um, programs for prevention of overweight and obesity, and that is included in our Philippine Plan of Action for Nutrition. Time around for the 23 to 2028 PPAN, um, there is also a focus on management of overweight and obesity. Uh, this would include having blue green spaces. Blue green spaces are um, having bike lanes in areas like that, having um, safe parks for children to be able, children and well, actually a lot of other people to play and you know, um, have their physical activities there. Uh, we also want to try to have office and school-based programs. Um, this office and school-based programs would include healthy lifestyle. Healthy lifestyle would include um, having um, exercises, like daily exercises, even if it's, if it's just 30 minutes or an hour of uh, exercise in the office or in between work. Um, it could actually not just help regulate um, overweight and obesity or manage your weight, it could help um, with the productivity also. And then counseling. So here, the National Nutrition Council, um, as well as nutrition committees of the LGUs are very busy, usually around October, where it's overweight and obesity prevention month. We get so busy because we have a lot of calls for counseling, weight management counseling. Um, we have a lot of that in the region or here in Central Visayas is that the Regional Nutrition Committee has passed resolutions encouraging our agencies to have uh, rice alternatives, mm -hmm. to serve rice alternatives. So it's not just rice that they could give because of the high glycemic index of rice, uh, too high in carbon, uh, carbohydrates. Right now, um, if you go to some of the other agencies, um, member of the Nutrition Committee agencies, um, functions they could give you alternatives like kamote or boiled bananas or stuff like that. Here are some of the local, regional, and national initiatives in the Philippines in relation to obesity annual investment program workshops for local governments, revised implementing guidelines on operation and management of school canteens in public elementary and secondary schools. Policy and guidelines on healthy food and beverage choices for schools and Department of Education offices. Exercise is medicine advocacy of Philippine Association for the Study of Overweight and Obesity. Though genetics could be a cause, obesity is an acquired condition that mostly depends on lifestyle variables, so our recommendation for healthcare management, Instead of unhealthy food choices people need to start choosing healthier food options. There are many foods and drinks that could help prevent disease and could help with weight control. Changing your lifestyle also helps in managing your health and preventing obesity. Keeping an active lifestyle will help people in staying healthy, it lowers the risk of disease and even reduces stress and boosts your mood which will impact your life positively.